just thought I'd jump on quickly and show you what I'm working on. Is everybody having a good day? I'm working on this piece. Did you see I've made a post? Look at the texture in that. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. I know in the one picture it showed up really well. But this is a napkin over top of burlap. And I just thought I'd show you how I did it. I'm just finishing it up. I think it looks nicer with a, um, a black frame, kind of add some more dimension to it than a, opposed to the raw wood. But isn't that kind of cool? And that is just a napkin over top of burlap. Hi, Emma. Oh my gosh, Emma, it's been so long since I've seen your name pop up on here. How have you been doing? My goodness, it's been a while. Right now, I'm just taking some of the licorice um, country chic chalk paint and I'm using a baby wipe and I'm just kind of staining the wood around it but isn't it cool so I just let me get this finished up and I will grab another one and I will show you how it's done I think that just adds a little more dimension to it what do you think hi Sherry All right, I'm going to close this up and get it out of the way. And now I'm wondering, where did I put my roll of burlap? I just had it. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Just give me one second. Where did I set it? Oh, there it is. It just fell over. Okay, so I have this giant roll of burlap. <laughs> I don't even know why I have this giant roll of burlap, but I have a giant roll of burlap. Um... <coughs> I think I was going to make scarecrows one year or something. But anyways, it's been in my craft cupboard and I was cleaning out my craft cupboard this morning and I thought, ooh, I wonder if I could decoupage all that. So that's where this came from. Now, if you don't have a giant roll of burlap, um, you can get like the little rolls of ribbon size in the dollar store, I'm sure. But basically, you're just going to need a square that's going to be big enough for your surface. I happen to be using one of our wood panel boxes that I have on the website. They've been on there for a while. I won't be carrying them again. Once they're sold out, they're sold out. Um, it was before I got into the laser stuff. But you could easily do this on one of those squares for inside the ladder or the uh, window frame. It would work just as well. So I'm going to grab my 4.5 inch square. I like these things because you could also do a design on the inside on the back. So then it could be reversible. So you'd have one on this side and then... Let's say St. Patty's Day, you wanted something on this side, you could do it on the inside. That's what I like about these. So I've got my wood panel box. I've got a piece of burlap. I'm going to spray my piece of burlap down with some water. I don't want it soaked, but I want it damp. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my country chic paint. I happen to be using Simplicity, but whatever shade of white doesn't really matter when it comes to this. And you're just going to grab some white paint and you're going to paint your burlap. And the reason for that is because if you were to do it over top of the dark burlap, it's really going to distort the color of your napkin. So it's not going to be an even all over coat and I'm okay with that. Certain areas are going to soak up more than others because it's fiber and that's what it does. I'm just going to paint it on and I'm going to kind of swirl it and get it down all in the, in the texture of the burlap. You'll have to excuse me, I'm still in my pajamas. I'm having a pajama day today. Anybody else out there having a pajama day? Mary, did you get hold of Christina yet for your order? I hadn't talked to talked to her this morning to find out. Um, so I'm just going to give it a light coat. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you have something below your burlap because it's going to make a mess. <laughs> it's just what it does. But that's okay. It's not real crafting unless it's getting a little messy, right? So I like to give it a good coat. Almost done here. 
And then after I've got it almost all, you know, covered, it's not even or anything, I'm going to give it a one more spritz. And I'm just going to work it in a little more. And all I'm trying to do is make sure that all the fibers are absorbing some of that paint. Okay? And I'm not going right to the edge. I'm kind of leaving it because I know this square is going to be bigger than my panel. If you wanted to go ahead and cut it to match all like right from the start, you could. But I just find it easier just to wing it. Oh, you got it on Sunday. Good, good. All right. So once you've got your burlap painted, you're just going to let this dry. So I'm going to toss this aside. I'm going to clean up my mess. I'm going to grab another baby wipe here. And then I've got one that's already been painted just to speed up the process for you. All right, so I'm going to close that up. Oh, you did go to the wrong house first. It's a little confusing down there in her neighborhood, I admit. Oh, thank you for sprinkling. All the houses kind of look the same. <laughs> it was okay at Christmas time. She had these little decorations out, so when I drive there, I was like, oh, that one's hers. But I don't know it by the house number, and now she doesn't have Christmas decorations out. So we're going to have to make her something for every season so we can tell which house is hers. <laughs> So this one here is already dried and you can see that's the good side. This is the bad side. So some of it does go through. It really doesn't make a difference. It's still pliable. You can still maneuver it, but it's got a, a textured white paint on it. Okay. So I'm going to lie that down and I'm going to grab my Mod Podge. I am using the matte one. I had to double check because I have so many bottles on the go. Um, personally, I don't think it makes a difference which one you go with for this project. I'm just looking for a good brush to do this. I'm actually going to use one of my S50s just because I want a thick bristle on it. Oh, you didn't know she moved. Oh, sorry about that. Um, that's my bad. So I'm using an S50 because I want something that's got a little bulk to it. You can just use a cheapy paintbrush, whatever you want. I'm going to peel out that little bit of a skim on the top. <laughs> and I'm going to pick up my Mod Podge. And I'm literally going to be stippling it on. Because I'm trying to work it down into the fibers and then I brush it back and forth. Sorry, Maya, I'm live. Oh, okay. Now I'm almost at the bottom of this bottle, so. And yes, I'm swirling, and it's a horrible thing to do to your paintbrush, okay? I'm just warning you right now, this is hard on your paintbrush if you're swirling. So grab a cheapy brush if you have one. Were they supposed to drop something off while you're out there? Or a mask? I was putting away a paper. Oh, okay. Sorry. So I'm just working that Mod Podge all into my fabric, making sure I have good coverage. How many of you enjoy doing decoupage? I kind of like all the crafts. I bounce around. Anyone that's followed me for a while knows that. Huh. So now I'm really going to want to make sure I wash this brush after because it's, you know, it's Mod Podge on my very good brush. But um, fingers crossed I remember to do that. I'm going to close up my Mod Podge. I'm going to grab another baby wipe. And I'm just going to take up some of the excess here. Probably don't need to, but I'm going to lie that down and I'm going to grab a napkin. Now, the last one I did was that cute typewriter. Where did I set it? Oh, right there. The cute typewriter for Valentine's Day. This time, you love doing all the crafts too. Me too. 
Oh, you're out shoveling. Yuck. <laughs> That's a horrible thing to be doing. <laughs> oh, Sherry's never done it. Oh my gosh, girl. It's, it's fun. You've done a little bit of it, Cheryl. Okay. So this napkin, I don't have this one on the website because of one thing. Most of the napkins that I have on the website, let's see if I can find one. Here's the one I used earlier. So when you open up a napkin, I'm sure you've all seen this, but it usually has multiples of that design. So you can get four of the same thing off of it, okay? This guy here, the Ray Dunn napkin, he's really sweet. But I felt bad to put him on because there's only two of him. So I didn't know if people would be annoyed by that. That's why it's not on there. But if you did want it, I, I could put it up there. I have a bunch of them. But I felt bad because most people would expect to have four of the design. And this one would only have two. They're more expensive of a napkin because they're already done. But it is what it is. So I'm going to cut my square out that I need. Now, if you've never done decoupage, this is not typical decoupage, guys. Typically, you're trying to get it as smooth as possible. This one is so, like, forgiving because you want that texture in it, okay? Now, I'm going to grab a little piece of masking tape, and I'm going to rip it in half. And I'm going to tape one piece to a corner. And I'm going to tape the other piece to the other corner. And then I'm going to pull it apart. And that's going to take my backer sheets off. Okay? But you want to make sure you do it in a corner that if it rips, it's okay. You can never find cute napkins. Okay. I have a few, or I had a few on the website. But I just added a bunch more. Because I have so many napkins. Because we used to have a napkin club. So I have tons of napkins. So I did add a few more onto it. I'll just keep adding them as we go. Um, this guy, like I said, isn't on there, but the I Love You typewriter one is. So I'm going to take my cute... How's George feeling? Okay, I'll talk about George in a minute. <laughs> and I'm going to lay it on top. And I'm just going to lightly press it down onto that wet Mod Podge, which, you know, has been drying a little bit because I've been doing other things, okay? Then you're going to want a gr want to grab a stiff bristle brush. For me, I like the palm brushes. I love them for waxing, and I love them for Mod Podging. This one is a Mod Podge brush. I just smelt it because I wanted to make sure I'm not applying wax to it. <laughs> but I kind of have one for Mod Podge and one for wax. So now what I'm going to do with my stiff bristle, like it's a very dense stiff bristle brush, I'm going to pounce it. Sherry wants to know who George is. Can someone tell her who George is? Let's see if anyone else knows who George is. I think most of you know. Anyone that's followed me for a while should know about George. So I'm just banging it in. It's a great way to work out frustration. And did you just notice, anyone that's followed me for a long time, have you noticed that the camera isn't shaking as bad as it normally does? Because I actually have it set up on a different table this time. Because it used to cause quite the tremors when I do this. That's right, George is my laser. He's my favorite man. Yeah, we won't tell Chris that. Um, <laughs> George is my laser and he hasn't been, um, I don't know if he hasn't been feeling well lately or his nose is out of joint because literally, what was it, two days, a day, two days after I said I've ordered in a bigger, better laser, <laughs> he like died. Um, at first he was like, I was not getting anything done with him. Now I can get stuff done. So if you just want to place orders, I can get it done. It's just not going as quickly as it used to. But, you know, fingers crossed, Glowforge gets hold of me soon. <laughs> and uh, they can figure out what's going wrong with him because he's still under warranty. So I just don't want to have to send him back and be six weeks without him. So I'm hoping, you know, they can talk to that mothership and uh, they can get it all done, you know, via internet or however it is that they do it. 
So I'm still just pushing it down. And when you're done, it's going to look like it's a piece of fabric. Can you guys see that? It's got all that texture and it looks literally like a piece of tapestry. Now, I'm going to grab my board. He's pouting, yeah. Typical man, right? <laughs> so now I'm going to grab my surface and usually I'd be saying, hey, paint this white so that the napkin stays vibrant. But we don't have to because we've got the piece of burlap. So I'm going to take, where is it? My tacky glue. Elaine's tacky glue or, ooh, I didn't even put the lid on last time. Hopefully it comes out good. Um, any kind of craft glue, really, that'll hold like burlap to wood. And I'm going to apply my glue. Mod Podge might hold it itself, but I wasn't too sure about that. So I'm just going to apply my glue. I'm going to grab a sponge brush. just going to spread it all out making sure I get right to those edges I find if you go two or three different directions then you're sure to get the good coverage so there we go just like so and then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to kind of line it up Let's say a fingerprint up there, fingerprint up there. Got two to the edge, two to the edge. I think that's pretty good actually, right off the start. You bought a, a bottle from Michael's yesterday. Awesome. It's cheap, right? I looked on Amazon. It's a little more pricey on Amazon. Oh, we've got another Emma in the house. Welcome, Emma. Thank you for joining us. We are decoupaging on burlap today. So all I'm doing is just pressing it down. I've also picked up a dog hair somehow in there. And I'm not sure if I can get out. Just a second, I'm going to have to grab a pin and see if I can get that out. Because it's, it's hardening in there. There we go. I got him. So we are all glued down. Yeah, it's like six-ish. Yeah, I think this one was on sale at a cash at checkout one day. And I think I paid like three bucks for it. And it was a five ounce. And I've seen other people use it and I was kind of like, oh, it's cheap. How good could it be? <laughs> I'm like thinking it's, it's you know, it's got to be like Elmer glue. It can't be that good, but it's, it is really good. It really does work. Just finally somebody made something frugal and I'm like, that can't be. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Now I'm going to take my dryer or you can just let it air dry. And I'm just going to dry it up a bit. I'm looking around thinking, oh, I don't have my X-Acto knife. I know exactly where it is because I was cutting over on my cutting mat over there. So I'm just drying it up a bit just so that it's really stuck to it and it's not going to slide. And as you can see, like that napkin is stuck down already. Hi, Christine. That's my sister, people. My sister's in the house. I am Mod Podging Tina on um, burlap. It's a piece of burlap on a board. And I've applied a napkin. I'm decoupaging. I should, I should say I'm not Mod Podging. I'm decoupaging. Just give me one second to grab my X-Acto knife, guys. Alrighty. And my cutting mat is too big for in the live area. So I'm just going to take my backer board, this is my own piece anyways, and I'm going to use it for my, typically a cutting mat or a piece of cardboard or something, you know, just so you're not ruining your tabletop. 
So you're going to flip it upside down once it's dry so it's not going to stick to your other surface. And then you're just going to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to cut it from the back. And it should come away just like that. So has anyone else decoupaged on burlap before? Originally what I was planning to do while I was sitting there watching my daughter do her live this morning was I was looking to see if I had any of that cross stitching material. You know, it's usually white and you stick it in those embroidery hoops. I was looking to see if I had any of that and I didn't because I have some embroidery hoops too that I was trying to figure out how to use. Um, I had a plan when I bought them. I just don't remember what it is. You've never done it at all. Oh my gosh, Karen, you would love doing this. It's fun. We also do cards with it. We've done all kinds of stuff with decoupage. I got one little string here that I'm going to have to just snip. And then the same way in that corner. Corners are usually the hard part. If you can say it's hard at all, really. So I got a little bit of fuzzies there that I'm just going to snip that off. I just want to show you again, look at that texture. Like it looks like a piece of fabric. It reminds me of like a, a throw blanket now. Isn't that cool? Now, because that is a napkin on top and napkins do what napkins do and that's absorb, you definitely want to make sure you're going to put a top coat on it. So for a top coat, we just go back to our Mod Podge. And I know I was using this one. See if we can get enough out of here. I'm gonna have to grab another one off the shelf soon. So all you're gonna do now is put a light coat on. And just spread it over top. And then when this dries, oops, we got a little chunky there. When this dries, it's gonna be, you know, that if something splashed on it, you'll be able just to wipe it off with a baby wipe or any kind of, you know lint-free rag, but don't soak it in the water, but it's like a, a damp cloth wipe off. So it's going to be cloudy at first. I think that dark spot is actually a fiber because it's back again. Once it's wet, it really shows up. So it must be a fiber in the burlap because, let's see, Burlap is kind of a rustic thing, and every once in a while it has a little dark flex in it, and it is what it is. But, hey, we're going, you know, it's, it's texture, and it's rustic. It's not, you know, prestige. So I'm just taking my finger, making sure I've got all the edges glued down really well with the top coat and everything. That corner there could use a little more. And that's it. And then you're just going to let that dry. You did decoupage on your live this morning. Are you serious? Oh my God. Great minds think. Of, oh my goodness. I should say. I never say that. I always get mad at the kids for saying it the other way. Oh my goodness. Great minds think alike. So that's it. And then that's going to dry like within an hour. It'll be dry. Or I can take my blow dry tool to it. And it's super cute. So that's going to be my two chunkies that I can put somewhere. This was the one that I did this morning. And that napkin is, whoops, picked up a loose thread. And that napkin is on the website now if someone's looking for that one. Um, and then I just stained the outside edge black. This one here I'll probably stain the outside edge black too. And this one here is my Ray Dunn one now, which I know Brittany says she does not like decoupage, but she loves Ray Dunn. She does, she does. So I wouldn't be surprised if she steals this one on me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. Usually I would wait till it's dry. 
but for those of you that missed at the beginning, I'm just going to pick up a bit of black paint. It's called Licorice by Country Chic. Oh, I think that's my hubby home. And I'm just going to baby wipe it on all the sides. Chris, is that you? Yeah. I'm live. Now, if you wanted to do an all over, you know, good coat of black paint, you can too. But I kind of like that rustic farmhouse style. You all know how much I love it to look a little loved and beaten up. Cheryl loves the Ray. I can't even talk. The Ray done as well. I have a few Ray done things. I haven't gone crazy over it. And to be honest, it's kind of like the Disney stuff. Um, I know that Brittany loves, loves, loves the Ray Dunn, so I buy it just to tick her off. <laughs> it's that great mother-daughter uh, little thing that we got going on. Um, she usually wins and ends up taking it home with her anyways, but it gets a rise out of her. Now, she did buy me, I've got the cutest little um, red hand towels in my bathroom that are Ray Dunn that say Happy Valentine's Day on them, and I like those. But I don't understand a box that says stuff. And then they mark up the price like crazy because it has the word stuff on it. I don't understand that. All my boxes have stuff. I could take a Sharpie and do it. It's just not my jam, I guess. <laughs> but a few things. like um, She has a few cookie jars that are cute. I don't own one, but there's a few cookie jars that are cute. And I like my red towels, but I don't like the ones that literally just say stuff. Or things you know the obvious don't state the obvious for me but be mine is cute when I was holding it there it looked like I had more black on the front but I don't okay it's just there we go it's just the loose fibers up there so what do we think oh you agree with me even though you like Ray Dunn you agree with me. Okay, so it's not... I just... I like the style of the words. I just don't need someone to state the obvious to me. <laughs> so that's it. See how it's got the texture? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think they're fabulous. And then afterwards, like, it is dry. It kind of feels um, almost... I wouldn't say plasticky. Oh, like um, outdoor upholstery. That's what it feels like. So it's got a... Oh, you know... A water membrane on it kind of thing but that's what it looks like when it's totally dry and I'll take it for before and after pick well not before picks but I'll take an after pick and post it up there too of this guy here just thought it was something fun something different to try with you guys um, if you have any questions of course you can message me anytime about it but uh, that's pretty much it it's quick it's easy and it's fun you can make like a gift to take to someone's place in no time flat all right, guys, um, I'm not sure if I'll be on again later or not. I'm looking for my glue right now because I found the cap. <laughs> and, uh, but until the next time I see you, you know, stay safe, have fun, and be creative. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye, guys.